Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin continued to push a little higher today, but really did not push much higher. Um, I would still see this at the moment as extension of the third wave. Again, um, commenting that we seem to be pushing higher here on the multi-hour charts. So the trend seems to be up. We've got higher highs, higher lows on the multi-hour charts. That doesn't mean that the trend necessarily on the daily chart has changed. Um, and also it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has given us a confirmation that a lasting low is in place. So it hasn't done that yet, okay? So I still haven't got confirmation that a low is in place or has been in place on the 11th of September. Um, I can only do that, I can only say that if I get five waves up, three waves down from an analysis point of view. This would be an amazing long trade entry point, but there will be other setups along the way. For example, if we get another pullback in wave four, which has now been, which is likely going to be reset, because I still see this at the moment as top of the third. So if we come down in a wave four, this might be a pullback trade opportunity to trade the fifth wave, if you like to do that, right? Um, but I can't really indicate support yet because we haven't got a confirmed top in place. If I had to give you support, then I would say support is probably around 26.9K. No, one second, it's 27.6. It's the 61.8 retracement, okay? So that's um, important. Also, what we might wanna do is to add here, let's see, can we just to get an idea here of the channel in which we're moving, sort of an, a diagonal, sort of diagonal channel. Um, it's probably more like, it might be a bit of a, of an expanding um, expanding wedge pattern forming here, we'll see. But either way, you know, the multi-hour trend is up. Any pullbacks could be used for long trades. Mm, again, we only have some clarity that a lasting low is in place. As soon as we have five waves up, three waves down, we can call that a wave one. With a pullback in a wave two, we're basically in a similar situation in which we were already up here, um, where we are just before potentially breaking out, but it the bulls will have to do a lot of work to push through this resistance. So that's between 31 and basically 32K. This is strong resistance. And I think sort of the weight of that pressure, I mean, that's a lot of resistance there. You have plenty of resistance, not only from this year, also from last year, if we go to the left-hand side here from June 22, there is a lot of resistance there. And if I zoom out a bit, this is the pressure that's keeping the price down, of course. And I think that's also the pressure that's causing here a diagonal to form instead of an impulse. Let's see that, okay, that's key resistance. So with diagonals, we have to be a bit flexible. This is still pretty poor quality price action. It's not impulsive. So Elliott wave is not that predictive. Yeah, I always have to highlight that. Shouldn't be a surprise to anybody who's been watching the videos here. We have to change our opinions quickly in these situations. We have to be flexible in diagonals shouldn't be anything new to anyone because Elliott wave is really only predictive in impulses. We haven't seen an impulse in a very long time in crypto. Okay, a real impulse. We haven't seen one in a long time. So that means it's primarily a risk management tool, especially when we're dealing with corrections or diagonal patterns. That's very important to understand. So I have no problem to turn bearish um, here short term again, if it breaks below that, uh, what did I tell you? 27.6k level yeah if it breaks below that level then the reliability of a fourth wave pullback has reduced okay because then it's coming down to deep so um that's very important to understand so we don't want to we don't want to be too fixated on a certain outcome here we want to be flexible especially when we deal with diagonals certainly i haven't got anything impulsive here to the upside okay i've got nothing impulsive and um also read, read, read a couple of comments again, you know, people asking, okay, you know, what is if we break out directly and that pullback never comes? Well, see, that's where strategy comes in. I, I've said it many times, but obviously I am willing to repeat it because um, a lot of people have understood that 
and I think it has, has helped a lot of people. So strategy is different from analysis, okay? So the analysis tells us we probably haven't got an impulse. I'm not saying it couldn't break out more directly to the upside. It, it certainly can. You know, I don't need confirmation um, or the market doesn't need to confirm that a low is in to be able to break out. It can break out straight away. Absolutely, you know. Um, and you also don't need confirmation to make a trade. But I, from an Elliott Wave analysis point of view, I have to see five waves up, three waves down to be able to confirm that a low is in. But of course, it can break out earlier. And that's where strategy comes in. Regular accumulation, the bear market has been very long, regular accumulation, gradual accumulation, put that core position in place. When it then finally breaks out, I mean, I don't know if it does, you know, maybe, probably, if it, you know, if it holds a higher low in the pullback, it should break out. And it can take us to 50, 60, 70K. So when that goes, it goes probably quickly. I've been saying it many times that if it breaks out, then it goes quickly. So I'm rather, if the indications are there, if the indicators are there, I'm rather bullish. And, um, you know, if it breaks, it breaks to the downside. And if it doesn't break out, that's it, you know. Uh, but I'm rather bullish and, um, and um, you know, risk getting, let's say, stopped out or risk being wrong than missing that third wave rally. I can tell you that you know, I'd, I'd rather reset lower if we come down again. So as I said in the last video, I'm tentatively bullish here now. Uh, the multi-hour charts are long or up. And if it breaks, then it will, or if it breaks to the upside, yeah, then it will go very quickly. Um, and if it breaks down, then we reset lower. Not a problem at all, yeah. I'm not convinced by the structure yet. I have to say that as well. It's not an impulse and that's the problem. But you just need to understand that this pullback doesn't need to happen before we break out. We can break out directly, okay? You know, I've, I've said it many times, the, the bull market train leaves the station with as few people on board as possible. So just be aware of that. And when we break out, all I will do is to, to, to have a trading stop or to... Um, yeah, just have a trailing stop basically, okay? And um, because what you don't want to do when we have a third wave rally ongoing, and I think many people haven't have, have never ever seen a proper third wave rally in Bitcoin. If that happens, then you don't want to try to trade the micro. You want to be in the big move, okay? Because if you try to trade the micro in a third wave rally, you risk getting out of your position in the middle of the rally and that's it. You don't want to do that, okay? You you want to be in the game. You want to be in that in that move, and that's why I have prepared for that with gradual accumulation. So that's why I don't understand comments when people say, "Okay, you're going to wait uh, for that pullback, even when it's broken out." No, no, no. I'm, you know, I'm not waiting for that pullback, but I need it from an analysis point of view. And also, you need to understand where I'm coming from. Obviously, I've got a I've got a responsibility here. I am not willing to give you the most bullish wave count as primary scenario if the price action is still low quality um you know you know i'd rather be on the side of caution because most people in crypto they blow up their portfolio so i'd rather help people not to lose money as first priority before thinking about making money um so i will never give you the most bullish moon count and many other influencers can do that and you can always follow them for a little bit more hopium but risk management has to be key. You know, traders make money with risk management and uh, not by aping in and getting stopped out and losing a lot of their um, position, okay? That's where I'm coming from. And that's what you need to understand. If I'm telling you I'm starting to lean bullish, I mean, then how you trade that, you know, how, how you trade that leaning, if you want to trade, you know, how I'm leaning, then that's up to you. You know, if you want to ape in with uh, too too big of a position size, that, that's the other problem. But... Um, I can only give you a key level, which is 27.6K, which I, which I did. And against that level, we can push higher, right? That's the 61.8 retracement of the third wave. So yeah, that's sort of my view at the moment. Um, still think that this could form a head and shoulders pattern. So, you know, it's only, it's tentative. Obviously, you know, I have no problem when we have low quality price action to, to, to change my opinion quickly. We have to do that. There's no point um, not changing opinion when the market tells us we should do because this is low quality price action. I mean, that's it, that's where we are, you know? And if this forms a head and shoulders, you know, we've talked about that as well. I mean, overall, the idea is or was that we go to 24 to 22K, probably not lower. And so far the price hasn't done that. 
But overall, as you know, on the daily time on the daily chart, we're tracking a bullish scenario. We expect the price to break out at some point, and we see this move down currently not as a downtrend that would take us down to new all-time lows, or not all-time lows, but to new bear market lows. No, we only see it as a temporary correction in an overall uptrend. So it can always it can always stop that um, correction a little earlier and and break out straight away. So you know, obviously, as we get closer to resistance such a breakout always gets more likely. At the same time, um, it increases the risk of breaking down because on the daily time frame, the RSI is now very, very high. So that doesn't mean we are bearish, absolutely not, because you know overbought uh, RSI is actually quite bullish um, in contrast to what many believe. Well, what is interesting as well, first of all, we had a breakout here, I made you aware of that. Which, is, which was bullish. We had a breakout here, which was bullish. And also, also um, here, between this high and this high, it broke, it broke a bearish, it invalidated a bearish divergence. That was one of the reasons today why I said, okay, I'd rather be focused on the long side uh, instead of the short side, because it's giving me enough signals to at least be tentatively bullish. Um, short term, okay. It's all about the short term structure, and to see it more likely that we might break out actually, um, just because we invalidated a bearish divergence on the daily time frame, which is quite bullish. And to be honest, a bullish or an overbought RSI indicates actually that um, that the trend is quite strong. Okay, so but we'll see if that you know if something like this happens, which was here in June. It could easily break down again and form the bearish divergence again, but we invalidated the bearish divergence. That's the difference. So we have to monitor that very closely is what I'm saying. Yeah, so hopefully that gives you all the info you need. Exciting weekend. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. As a channel member, you get access to the weekly live stream. We've got one tomorrow on Sunday, 5 p.m. UTC. You get access to Discord and Telegram, lots of educational content, and you get access to yeah, the chat rooms. And as a gold member, you get access to short-term market updates, which could be very useful if we really get into a very exciting market phase. Uh, I think we're entering it, but we'll see if that's sustainable. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.